What's up, everybody? It's Alex from Heavy New York. We are back at the Mercury Lounge, and we are here with Gavin of Bent Knee. Thank you so much for your time today, man. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. It's so awesome to have you here. Your newest record is You Know What They Mean. Mm -hmm. Do you just want to give like a rundown on how the making of this record was, the recording, all that fun stuff? Yeah. Well, so uh, this was the first album that we've done where all of the music was composed uh, with all of us in the same room. Oh, wow. Uh, Because typically, you know, uh, uh, people would would bring in like a like a demo of like a verse and a chorus or something like that, or possibly the whole tune, and we would then in rehearsal kind of run it through you know the machinery of all six of us, and 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 it would morph into something different. But for this one, we took a bunch of studio sessions and just jammed, uh, and from there cut loops and started messing with things and and just kind of you know refined that into into an album did that change the overall sound like would this maybe differ from the sound of what people would hear on like land animal your last record or something like that? yeah I, I think this one's a little grittier uh i i think this album has a, has a bit more of an edge to it raw kind of yeah a little more raw i think than than you know either land animal or say so before yeah. that yeah so this didn't just feel like you were making a direct continuation of land animal this was almost kind of felt like a new start for bentney in a way i don't know if i would go as far as a new start um, or anus tart if you're a yeah. uh, 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 the rest of development fan, um, but uh, uh, I I, th- I think it was uh, I think it still makes sense if you listen to it kind of if you listen to all the albums in a chronological order. I, you know this isn't like uh, like like a hundred percent lane switch kind of thing, but it's but it's uh, I think it's an interesting sequel. Okay. Yeah. So is it fair to say your catalog is like something out of Lord of the Rings or something like that in order to like <laughs> get like maybe uh, you know the concept of you know you know what they mean they should yeah. listen to Land Animal should listen to the record before that and so on and so forth. Well, I, I think if if you're just coming into Bentney on this new album, I I think this new album is a wonderful starting point. Um, you know, it's it's not like it it won't work without the context of of all the other records, but you know, much like uh, much like Arrested Development, I think uh, there are several uh you know the 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 direction of the sound will will be uh you know it'll be oh they kind of went there after listening to all the other albums Mm -hmm. now being a drummer what i find unique is do you need like music before you lay down the rhythm and the beat or do you sometimes like lay down the rhythm and then you know the rest of the band would kind of like write over that well um on this album uh well actually so i broke my leg uh, in June of last year. Oh wow, you okay now? Oh uh, yeah, better now. Got you know plates and screws in there holding it together. Fell off a stage in San Francisco, I was like an idiot. I was you know waving to the audience and walking down the two steps mm-hmm. to get to you know off to the green room side and missed a step. Went down, foot pointing the wrong direction, whole bit. Um, so uh, as a result of that, I, I was in California for a long time while the rest of the band was on the East Coast, and um, I was programming some drum loops. And sending them over so that they would have like drum stuff to write to, uh, and the song on on you know what they mean it happens uh, came from a loop that I had uh, sent over, um, and then uh, you know they all kind of piled more stuff on top of that, and mm. and so yeah I mean in 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 that respect you know yeah but uh, especially on like the earlier albums uh, when people would come in with demos of of sections you know they would have ideas for the drums and. Uh, you know, I would do those, and and then I would have my own directions to take things, and it just kind of grew and evolved from there. Interesting, because you know, drumming is like you know, obviously it's a very important instrument. You know, the famous saying, "Your drummer sucks, your band sucks." Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But like, I'd imagine when you're playing live versus like you know, in songwriting mode, mm-hmm. are you executing like is every time you hit the snare the exact time you hear it on the album or the ride symbol, or is it like? Do you is like maybe your live presence a different approach than the studio? I would say. Uh, Anywhere from sixty-five to seventy-five percent is the same uh, 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 night to night. Mm. Uh, you know, uh, I, I'm I'm a very uh, just as all of us in the band, we're all kind of very you know we we enjoy improvisation and we enjoy kind of the the, the spontaneity of things. Um, but uh, I, you know, over the years, especially with some of the older songs, right? I've I've found fills that are just uh, you know I don't think I can put something better there so that's what you know uh that that's what has been there for for quite a while um and 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 it takes it takes a while to get to that point so like uh if we're playing an older song like something like being human off of our our second album uh shiny eyed babies 
uh, you know, there are some fills in that song that are going to be the same, you know, each time, uh, and then some that, you know, vary up each night. <laughs> One thing I find unique about Bentney, I always feel like your music is so experimental. Like, I, I can't pigeonhole you into the periodic table <laughs> of metal subgenres or something like that. So when it comes to, like, making new albums and making new songs, it has to be kind of flexible and easy to try new things, right? Yeah, um, I mean, the, the the six of us in the band are so, uh, all of our tastes are so varied. You know, it's, it's hard for us to find any uh, one artist that we all love, you know, so, and, and, and we're all, you know, all six of us are constantly listening to new and different things. So it's, it's our combined kind of influences and what we're into at any given moment kind of, you know, informs the direction that the band takes. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it, um, uh, yeah, so it's 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 really, you know, it, it's kind of a gelatinous thing where where our our sound is always, I think, changing a little bit. Here comes the most difficult question Ooh. in the whole interview, and I love asking every artist this because it always just mind fucks. Yeah, them. how do you know when a song is done? Well, you know, and please don't say when I get the final mix back because that's such a oh comedy. yeah oh, no 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 no. <laughs> uh, I forgot who it was, but someone said that. Uh, uh, song is never finished. It's only abandoned. Abandoned. I'm yeah, sure you've I'll, heard that one a lot too. Yep. It's either between the mix yeah. thing I said or the abandoned yeah. one. Um, I think for us, really, I, I don't think they do ever finish uh, because I know, um, you know, th there's, th and especially from from year to year, right, from tour to tour, there are always small kinds of changes in 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 songs that we've been playing for a while that that just you know that's where we are at this moment and 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 these songs you know even you know the older ones they're kind of being filtered through who we are now and how we play now and how we approach music and performance and the stage and the audience um so i think they're really kind of always changing and they're always shifting um so in a way i guess uh songs are are never quite finished there are just different kind of milestones right there's the version of the song that's on the album and then there's the live version the live version but radio like radio edit yeah and then and then like a live version from you know the, the, the way that uh that we played i don't know something like holy ghost before land animal came out versus after or versus you know just before recording it i, I think they're always changing and, and they're they're Hopefully never done. There you go. Now, I kind of wanted to go back to what you said about like listening to the albums chronologically mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I don't know if you, maybe you're like the most appropriate, like obviously not being vocalist, but like being that you, like there's sort of like a conceptual element. Is this representative of like who you and the rest of the band were at that time and that's what it is? Or is this kind of like a story that's completely outside of who the band is? I mean, I, I think all of our stuff... Uh, is kind of informed by who we are at any given time. Um, you know, this, uh, in the making of, uh, uh, you know what they mean. You know, I had my, my broken leg accident. We, uh, when we were on tour in November opening for, uh, Haken and Leprous, uh, our van fell over in the ice. We, we driving through Montana spun out van went over, you know? Um, so I think there was a lot of kind of, uh, general stress and and tension kind of in the group just from all these kind of shitty external things that happen i oh, can i say yeah, yeah, yeah. all right shitty uh mm -hmm. external you know things that that, that happened and, and i think that you know in some way that that informed uh, uh the making of this album and, and i can't necessarily put my finger on on how but i think it's you know the the circumstances that the six of us are in uh, definitely, yeah, in inform the the tone and the the uh, shape of the album. Mm -hmm. And the final question I wanted to ask you is actually because you know you, you mentioned you were touring with Haken and Leprous yeah. last year, but you know you're on tour right now with Thank You Scientists. Mm -hmm. I mean, quite like a different sort of like scenario there. Like I feel like, and being that your music is so experimental. Do you feel like I feel like you guys could play with like a variety of different styles of bands, right? Would you notice like maybe a different reaction to your music in the audience or something like that? Oh yeah, I mean our first um, our first kind of big boy opening slot tour was uh, uh, for the Dillinger Escape Plan on their farewell tour. Yeah, and that was 
you know, did that hit New York City? When oh yeah, yeah. You we were at the web, not, Webster. Not, yeah, yeah. Not Terminal Five. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, not for those that final run. No, it was it was the the 2016 like the start of the of the yeah, farewell tour. I was scared for my life at that show. That though, Webster right? Hall show. It was wild. There was more people on the stage than on the floor, and it was sold out. So I had had uh, a couple of drinks that night, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to get on that stage. And I had flip-flops on because if I play drums in socks and shoes, I just they, they turn into little bags of soup mm. that are attached to my legs. Um, so I, you know, with, with my beer, went down backstage and was standing back by the drums, and, and the next thing I know, like, I'm trying to save a lighting truss from falling mm-hmm. over and then like you know ben weinman is standing on an amp in front of me and i have to like hold it still so he doesn't fall over and people are stepping on my feet yeah. you know that wasn't fun um but uh you know the the we, we yeah we tend to get different uh reactions from from different kind of crowds like the the dillinger crowd really took to us and and i think we were all i, I for myself i know i was you know almost a little frightened before that tour started like you know are are, are they gonna uh, the first fans? thing I thought of when I heard you guys was like, in terms of structure, uh-huh. like that Dillinger Escape Plan sort of oh, wow. method of organized chaos. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. I mean, that's they're a phenomenal group and, yeah. and all very, very sweet and phenomenal, incredible musicians. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, yeah, it's funny. Some people will, will come to us and say that we're like the heaviest thing they listen to. And, you know, that's because they're, the other stuff they're into is obviously a lot lighter than what we do. And then there are other people who come to us and go like, yeah, you know, you guys are like my chill out kind of band, and, <laughs> you know, cause they're listening to, you know, the more heavier, heavier side of things. So it's kind of nice. I think being in that kind of little middle position of, of, you know, to some people were one of the heaviest bands. And then the some were, you know, where they're like, they're chill out, you know, Relax at the end of the night, kind of thing. Yeah. To like the death metal crowd, you guys would be like share to them. Exactly. But then to like the radio friendly cl- crowd, you guys would be like emperor. To yeah. Them. <laughs> yeah. Or, or mayhem, maybe. Yeah. I, you know. But yeah. <laughs> so before we go, I'd like to thank you so much for your time today. Thank so you. Just uh, anything else with Bentney you would like to promote? Uh, this will be uploaded by midnight, so if it hasn't oh, been wow. announced yet, so this is coming it. out soon. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, well. Uh, uh, our new album came out just uh, this past October. Uh, you know what they mean on Inside Out Records. Uh, it's a, it's a good album, I think. Uh, also, uh, uh, that's about it in terms of Bent Knee stuff. I was about to give a Star Wars plug, but all right, S- Star Wars. There you go. Hell Can't yeah, go with Star Wars. But uh, <laughs> any, uh, and I'd imagine we'll be seeing you on the road. Oh yeah, twenty twenty. Yeah, there are. Yeah, there, we we will definitely be out in twenty twenty. Uh, uh, nothing solid on the docket uh, yet, but you know we'll be we'll definitely be touring in in twenty twenty. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Gavin. Thank you, everybody. We are here with Gavin of Bent Knee. Be sure to pick up. You know what they mean if they haven't already. This is Alex from Heavy New York. We'll see you next time.